Cement Association of Bombay. He joined us. He said that prices have corrected by only 5 rupees per bag. But later on in yesterday's trading session, we had various news-based reports that suggested that the price correction has been around 10 to around 15 percent in West India. But no one better than uh, Ms. Uh, Bina Engineer, the director of Sangi Industries, who joins us. Hi, ma'am. Thanks so much, ma'am, for joining in. Uh, first things first, could you tell us, um, in the last you know, 20, 25 days since the time we've seen demonetization come into play, what's been the impact? Have you seen sales, any kind of dip in sales? What has been the price correction as well on uh, cement uh, per bag in the best, best part of uh, our country? Yeah, first few days, uh, clearly everyone was in a shock and therefore uh, there were cancellation of orders and then the orders dried up for a few days, particularly from the trade segment. Mm. The non-trade segment where we are one of the major suppliers in Gujarat uh, remained unaffected largely. Uh, however, from the trade segment and particularly the retail, retail trade segment which comes from the rural or the interior parts, clearly there was an impact for first 15 days. Uh, but we now see that things are coming back to shape and uh, probably the impact of the demonetization is slowly fading away in the sense that people are now trying to put together have their working capital and other resources back into business. Have prices corrected, uh, ma'am? Prices had, uh, yeah, prices have marginally corrected, say about 5 to 8 percent or so. Okay, and can we expect any more price correction? Because a lot of people indicate that the real impact of demonetization will come in the month of December. So are you expecting any more price cuts? No, we don't expect any further price cut. We expect the prices to be maintained because anyway they have bottomed out. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the volume slowly coming back, probably we believe that the demand for the November has been pent up. So there has not been a cancellation of demand, but a postponement of demand. And all that pent up demand should come back in December and in the following quarter. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the original plans are probably only being rescheduled in terms of cement purchases. They're not being cancelled altogether. Right. So I don't see that uh, there could be a further price correction in December. Okay. Uh, just one follow up to the first comment you made in terms of sales. Uh, how much, can you give us some exact numbers from November 8th to say November 20th, how much did sales fall and have you seen any kind of recovery in the last say uh, one week or so? Yeah, you are right on the point that during last one week we have clearly seen a recovery. So that, that's where my anticipation that the pent up demand is going to get released uh, as we go, move forward into December and in the next quarter, right. uh, that is how my uh, view comes from. Right. Uh, in the initial 15 days, clearly there was a shock, labor was not available and people didn't have the resources. But companies like us, again, we have extended additional credit to the dealers and we are also trying to help things out. So. Things are falling back in shape, I believe. All right. Uh, Ma'am, you know, there's a lot of unsold inventory in Gujarat. So could you tell us what is the percentage of your sales uh, in, in the Gujarat region itself? And you're talking about credit to dealers. Prior to this demonetization, what was the credit used to give? And post it, have you increased that credit limit? Yes. So uh, inventory in terms of the cement, there, I mean, there is never very long inventory one can hold for cement. So there's not substantial inventory, inventory, inventory in, in the housing terms of space. cement. In, in terms of housing space, yes, there is unsold inventory, but uh, uh, people believe that there is 20 to 30 percent uh, stock in the overall real estate sector which has been unsold, mm. uh, particularly in the uh, cities like Ahmedabad or Surat, etc., you see uh, already ready uh, multi-story buildings which are uh, yet to be occupied. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, the crunch of working capital may bring this inventory into the market and that would set the cycle rolling for the real estate developers in terms of their cash flows. Uh, okay, we'll uh, let you...